Yeah, Visa Security Light is a solution that help you maintain the security inside NAV. It's tools that allow you to record new roles, to correct the existing ones or create new roles. Also tools to copy permissions from one user to another. But let's take a look at how we actually install it. The first thing is to download it from merge2.com's website. Then we need to import the objects. If you need it, we can import additional language modules. Then you compile the objects, you compile the menu switch to make them all show up together. And then you have to open the security setup, accept the user agreement, um, and then the product is fully functional in here. So uh, let's go ahead and first download the latest version of Easy Security. We found on merchtool.com's website. And you go to Easy Security Lite and look at the history tab out here. And I have um, the current version in here, and I'll download the zip file for it. Let's take a look at this one and uh, extract all files. You can either use the standard Windows feature um, to do that with the zip file, or you can use, as in this case, WinRAR. There's language modules both for 2009 and earlier, and for 2013 in here. Then there's code for each version, and this only rel relates to the executable one. There also is uh, online help, and um, there's uh, a whole section about that one, about easy security in, here in the online help also. There's help files for the 2013 up to and later environment also in here. There's some SQL profiler templates, and those ones are used when you actually record permissions in here. But let's get into NAV and uh, import uh, these objects in here. First thing to do is uh, to import the objects. Let's see if I can get to my downloads here. I have my 2013 R2 version down here, and I have my FOB file. This FOB file contains a menu suite, and we're using one of the 10 numbers available. If this number was already used, we actually had an additional file with another menu suite number in there you could import, but only import one menu suite in here. So the next thing to do is to compile anything that starts with ESL, because that's the whole uh, application for easy security. That's 51 objects. The other thing was to compile all menu suites. So let's get rid of that filter again. And then compile all menu suites. If you don't compile all menu suites, you have issues with uh, the menus are not showing up properly, actually. So um, let's close this one and go into the Rotor client or Windows client in here. And if I look at it, I now have my new uh, group here in my department menu, Easy Security Light. And um, if I try click on anything in here, I can see my users. But if I go and look, for example, at uh, snapshots in here, it will tell me that I have to run the setup first in here. So let's go back to my Easy Security Light menu in here, click on Security Setup. I need to accept the user agreement, but before I can do that, I'll have to open it and read it in here. Basically, MerchTool.com will main the rights to the product and the code in here. And if required, you're supposed to pay the license for it in here also. So now I open the end user agreement, and I can go here and uh, check my end user license agreement accepted. It also creates a new role center. So if all you're doing is dealing with security, it has a role center for that also. You can also add a registration key, and you will need to request that one. But you have to watch another video how to actually do that one. Here. As I just created that setup, a good idea is to go in and create the first snapshot. And that actually is a way of being able to restore permissions for either a user or permission set in here. But that's conclude the installation of Easy Security Lite. There's not uh, a lot of things to do for that one. Import and compile the objects.